What's poppin' collective? This is your girl, the spiritual assassin, coming back with more messages for you guys. You can call me Ra Shun. I am the spiritual assassin coming through to, the, to deliver messages for you guys. I had another download today, and that download is Rags to Riches. You guys are going from rags to riches. So I'm picking up that whoever I'm talking to, you could have came from a poverty um, family. You could have um, not had a lot growing up. You could have suffered a lot growing up. You could have been um, uh, 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 either a, had a poverty-like mindset as well. I feel like that you're coming out of the lack of not having and you are having a more of an abundant um, mentality now. You are, uh, you have found your self-worth, your self-love. Uh, you will, um, whatever that you have went through in life, whatever adulthood trauma, whatever a childhood trauma that you did go through, you have surpassed that and you are about to receive your blessings. I had one, one on the screen when I said that. When I, um, earlier before, um, I came down here. I wasn't going to do any more readings, but I got another download and the other download was of a hummingbird. And I know hummingbirds represents, um, bringing joy, prosperity, love, and abundance in, into your life. And you're going to be singing sweet notes of joy in this is what I'm picking up with that download. I looked at the screen and it said 1155. When I look at 55, I break 55 down to 10. 10 represents new beginnings. And I seen 11, um, on the, it was 11 or 55. So 11 breaks down new beginnings, right? You could be coming across, um, to a soulmate connection. You could be having a new beginning for yourself. You could be moving from a, a, a old situation, an old way of thinking, um, uh, and traveling to a new way, whether that's mentally or physically, you're going to be, um, expecting some wonderful things that's coming towards you in the near future. So those are the downloads I have for you so far. I feel like that you got, you have new money, new love, um, a new, uh, sense of being about your Yourself. So I feel like that um, those that counted you out, they're going to be, they're going to wish that they haven't because you are destined to do great things. So I do have a channel song for you guys. Before we get started, we will um, go ahead and go through this channel um, uh, song and see what uh, the divine has to tell you guys. So again, guys, thank you for letting me guide you along your journey. If you guys do need a personal reading, you can just check the description box down below and you can find a way to get in contact with me through that information. And I will get in contact with you as soon as possible. Okay. So the first song that's on is, um, Gangsta by Kalani. She's saying, I need a gangster to love me better than, than all the others do. To always forgive me, ride or die with me, that's just what gangsters do. So what she's basically saying that she could be from the streets. She could be gangster as well. She could be, she could uh, be a little rough around the edges as well. She could be um, someone that's from the hood here is what I'm picking up. She just wanting someone to love her, um, to treat her better than all the others used to. So she could have had been around the block here, but all she was doing was looking for love here. All she was doing, wanting was looking for someone to ride or die for her. And she said, that's just what gangsters do. That's what love is about. So she's a, um, a warrior of love is what I'm picking up. So she's a gangster of love and she was just looking for another partner that's a gangster of love just like she is that will fight for the cause and to stand up for the love and the in the um the essence of being in love to being loved to being in compassion and to being in a uh, 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 a a uh, magnetic connection is what I'm picking up. So let's continue with the song. Okay, you could be fucked up. You could have the life this life could have been beating you down to you black and blue. You've been built up. You had you took in a lot of abuse here. You got secrets that nobody knows. You saying you good on that pussy shit. And you say, I don't mind. You get what you want. But you want somebody with secrets that nobody, nobody knows. So you want somebody just like you that have secrets. And nobody knows, but y'all can be open towards one another. Y'all can tell each other each um y'all can tell each other um secrets towards one another. You want somebody who you could be vulnerable with, that you can trust, that can relate to you. 
and y'all can build and become the best versions of yourself is what I'm picking up. Nobody, nobody knows. I need a gangster. You say you need a gangster. Yeah, you want a gangster to love you better. Your freakiness could have been on the loose at one time and you was running wild. But you want to run wild over one person. Here's what I'm picking up. You want this person to take you to a place that nobody knows. This person has took you to a place that nobody knows and they have hooked you or you have hooked them. This person could have been someone that was very promiscuous or someone who had a lot of partners here. You both, both of the masculine and feminine could have been uh, living a wild and uh, raunchy life here. But I feel like that you both got, you guys have secrets that you want to expose uh, towards one another. Yeah, this person said you got them feeling uh, like they against the ceiling. You got this person like feeling like they're hooked um, on their, this person got, you got this person, you got this person hooked on, on your feeling. You got this person hanging from the ceiling. You got this person uh, can't barely breathe or this person got you this type of way. So please don't let me go. This person do not want to let you go. This person wants to come back and reconcile with you or I feel like this is an ex lover and this person is a gangster and you, you guys are gangsters together. You guys are ride or die partners here. This person said that they are, they are always forgive you. Because this is what gangsters do. Hey, dope message. So somebody is got they in love with you. You're right or die. I'm getting that Beyonce and Jay-Z type of love. So we're going to go ahead and pull the messages and see what's going on. Hold on, guys. Let's tap into these messages. I'm, I'm going to pull from the, the Lenormand deck. Hold on, guys. I was going through some type of problem. Okay, there we go. But I said, what's going on with my connection now? Somebody could be playing with your connection here. I had to reconnect my internet for some reason. So there may be some type of spies out here. Somebody could be spying on your relationship, uh, spying on a connection, spying on your energy if you're not in a relationship. So be mindful. So let's tap into these messages. These messages are from the divine. All right, so without further delay, let's get that too. Yes, 810 on the screen when I said that. So you could be a life path number eight. You, have, you could have ended a situation here. You're going towards a new beginning here. All right, so source. What is the messages for the divine here? What is the messages for the collective here, Divine? Hold on, y'all. I just want to put that out. All right. What are the messages? Somebody needs to pay attention to a particular subject or paperwork or whatever contract that, that this is. Someone needs to pay attention to it. You could be a master healer, 44 here. Can I get the next energy? I see that someone is um, trying to control the situation here. Somebody could be 35 years old. Someone could be 44 years old. Somebody could be a life path number eight, most definitely. I see 888. You could be seeing 888. Maybe you see the time 888 a lot is what I'm picking up. But 888 represents infinity. It represents um, abundance is what I'm picking up. I have the truth be told here. Somebody is ready to come and tell you the truth here and unlock some kind of secret here. Maybe they want to give you a flower here, some roses here. I see another eight here. So eights are uh, most definitely um, representing in this reading here. You could be a master teacher, a master healer here. Christ conscious 33 here. 
you you have some type of truth here, some type of enlightenment here. You could possibly be giving uh, some type of truth of knowledge towards someone that you love or know. Or someone is giving you some type of knowledge. Can I get one more energy? I got 12 here. You was divinely guided to walk away from something or towards something. 12 breaking down to 3. I'm going to get one more card. And I have 19, the ending of a situation here. Uh, a family situation could have ended or you're about to move into a new place. You could be leaving a new place and going to a new place. Or a, a family situation has ended here. So we're going to go ahead and clarify these energies. The first energy that we have. This is from Rags and Riches. Freestyle download. Timeless reading. Let's go. Before we get started, I do say things like he and she because of the face value of the card. Please Take the energies as you up, as you see and apply them to your situation. If you guys do need a private reading, please read the description box below on how to get in contact with me. So without further delay, let's go ahead and tap into these energies. Remember, I think I said this, maybe somebody keeps repeating themselves, but um, uh, like I said, take what resonates, disregard the rest. If uh, this mes message does not resonate with you, I have a ton of other messages on uh, YouTube that may help you out in your situation. Uh, 1122 on the screen when I said that, yes. So let's go. Can you clarify the um, paying attention? Pay attention to the red flags is what I'm picking up. Somebody did not pay attention or you need to pay attention. What's going on with this energy right here? There's a masculine energy here that could not, that did not pay attention to something here, or you need to pay attention to this masculine energy. This masculine energy could have broke, have ended a situation here. This person could be a master healer here. He could be ready to bring you a rose here to, uh, to bring you some type of truth here. He's going to be barefoot. He's going to come and bear you some type of truth here is what I'm picking up. He's ending a situation with someone here or ending a cycle out or, of a person, place, thing, or idea. A karmic cycle out and he's coming to bear truth towards you. Maybe this person was trying to control this situation in the, in the past. You're going to be receiving great fortune. Possibly from this, uh, this masculine is tied to your great fortune here. You could be a life path number eight. So you're going to receive great fortune uh, uh, with this masculine. This masculine has great fortune or you guys will have great fortune together. Yeah, your person could be leaving a karmic energy right here. Yeah, someone that's uh, pregnant, but this baby may not be theirs though. There's about to be a message about this coming in soon that somebody was dealing with a cold uh, ice queen right here. Somebody who's very nasty and rude. You're going to be receiving a message about this, a message about this soon. Yeah, about this house situation. What's up? About, what's about this house situation? That somebody was married to this energy here. Yeah, and this is gonna be. This is a message of concern. Something that's gonna leave you in a wow factor here. That they was dealing with a karmic energy here. That they was married to this person. And the community know about this situation. So somebody's telling you about a karmic situation that's coming towards you. They see that they can have great fortune with you. Is what I'm picking up. You could be a life path number eight here. You could be 26 years old. You could be 28 years old. You could be 35 years old. You could be 33 years old. You could be divinely guided to come back towards this person or to walk away. It depends on how these cards lay out today. Yeah, you possibly going to be moving into a mansion or to a big house here. Yeah, I got 39. Somebody could be 39 years old who I'm talking to. Hold on. Oh, y'all know with the nails, it's kind of hard to pick up these cards. I'm going to start leaving them on the ground. Fuck it. I'm about to buy me some new ones. Nails, na dang nails, about to mess them up. But um, let's get back to the reading. So the uh, Great Fortune Confer uh, confirmed with the community here. So there's a community that's, that knows that this masculine wants uh, to have um, a new beginning with you. There could be two people here. That's against this relationship here. They possibly have a child together. There could be a mother and a, fi a father and an uncle and an uncle and another brother here. That may be against this um, um, relationship here. They're against this marriage here. Because this person. May be poverty. Yeah. Someone, this community doesn't want you to be with this masculine here. 
But I feel like that the ancestors are pulling you guys back together. If you look at the ancestors in the background, those look like ghosts to me. If it, I feel like that this connection is pulled together from the ancestors. And this, this is a union that will bring a great fortune. But I feel like both of these people could have came from um, a poverty um, childhood here. You guys could come together and have a son here. But this situation will be illuminated. It will be, it will be a wonderful outcome if this person only listened to their intuition. Because this situation will be abundant here is what I'm picking up. Both of you guys come from, from the rags. Can you clarify this um, community card? Yeah, this person is having nostalgia feelings over you. This person is ending a situation with someone right here. This person wants to come back and gift you. Yeah, well, like I say, he, this person, you po possibly known each other in the past life before. This main male right here. He wants to come marry you. He wants to start a new path with you. Yeah, but he, he could have been juggling you in the past, but he's ending that with the death card. Can you cl clarify this community, community card for me? We're going to get to the next energy. Yeah, this person wants to call, wants to travel to Karma Waters with you. And he's been divinely guided to come back towards you. He's po possibly been paying attention to you before he moved forward towards you. Been watching you. Been scoping out if you are... Um, if he should come towards you and give you this commitment, this proposal, this truth that he wants to give you. And he does because he see that you are a gift here. He see that he can build a great fortune with you. He also know that you could be going through a hard time or you went through a hard time. Or both of you guys went through a hard time here. But he's being divinely guided to come back towards you to build this family because y'all gonna because y'all are destined to have great things out here. A great fortune together. Y'all going to show the, the community that out of poverty that you can too become a, a, a asset for the community. God is going to pull y'all out of poverty and show y'all off to the world because y'all have a, a, a destiny, a plan out here to fulfill is what I'm picking up. And this person knows that and coming back towards you. Can you clarify that? Um, Yeah, this mature man right here, he has matured. He has seasoned. He can have gray hair or salt and pepper hair here and he's ready to change here. 42 breaking down to six. He could be a life path number six. He could be coming towards you. You could stay on the north side of town here. And he could be coming from the south side of town here. Somebody message. Not everybody message. Let's get to the next energy. The next energy I have is control. This is my control card. Trying to hold on to someone. Trying to not release them. It's what I'm picking up. Somebody could be a life path number eight here that was not trying to release someone here. Someone could have been pregnant, whoever that he could have um, got pregnant or whoever that was claiming that they was pregnant was trying to hold him down. They could be up to one, two, three, four, five, six women that were saying that they was pregnant by this male. But there was one particular one that really wanted to get stick it to him is what I'm picking up. But he's ended the situation with that person. This person could be a Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer energy. This person may have the initials of C and M. Monica, Monique, Maria, Melissa, Melinda, Marcel, Maurice, Kathy, Carolyn, Katniss, Carol, Carl, Cathedral, Corinthian. Somebody may like to write in calligraphy here. Somebody could have an Asian uh, be have an Asian background here. Is what I'm picking up. But anyway, those are the names I'm picking up. Carlita, Carl Corleone, Mojato. I don't know where that come from, but I'm hearing Mojato for some reason. But anyway, that may be for somebody, not everybody. So let's get to the next message. Can you clarify um, this anchor card for me, please? This control card. Who is these people? Or who is this energy right here? This person was married to someone that was trying to control him or her. Or I feel like it's a him. 36 breaking down to a nine. Your person ended a situation with a, a person that's a life path number eight. This person could have up to five kids. Yeah, I feel like this person could have up to five kids here. 
Yeah, this main male in the reverse here. This main male in the reverse could have been married to a Pisces Scorpio Cancer energy. They, this person could have up to five kids here. Can you clarify this main male? This male male, this main male could be an Aries energy here. And this main male was in a twin flame relationship here, a karmic twin flame karmic relationship here. Yeah, but he wants to have a partnership with you. Four and three. I'm looking at four and three and the ships coming across. Someone wants to court you though. Four and three breaks down to eight. You could be a life path number eight. Someone could have been wearing some, it seems like this masculine had married someone like a fake empress or something. Someone that was wearing the mask. Someone that was trying to be this empress energy here. This person could have five kids here. He married this person here or he could have up to five kids here. This is an Aries energy that's ending a situation with a marriage here. He realizing that he's in a twin flame or so, a, a, a toxic a, a soulmate connection here. Can you clarify? Um, He could have been with somebody that's 24 years old. Someone who acts very young or someone who could be that age there someone could be 28 years old here someone could have a one-year-old child here that's not theirs but i feel like a masculine married this person because they when they was in masculine uh the, um um distorted masculine energy but i feel like this person has reinvented himself and, and has reclaimed his energy back and has cut this energy off or anybody that's like that like them or or like his karmic um, partner, he has cut people off. He could have cut off up to five different people. Is what I'm picking up. There could be a five year old here. He could, he may have a child with a five year old. Is what I'm picking up. That's somebody's situation, not everybody's situation. Let's get to the next energy. So somebody wants to come and tell you the truth, or you're going to tell somebody the truth. So who's who's? Let's get these cards together. I, I don't need that. I can just do it like this. Yeah. Who's coming to tell this person the truth? You could be a master teacher, a master healer. You could be a Reiki. You could be into Reiki healing here. You could be um, um, somebody into uh, somebody who is um, a service for the people. Somebody who's into divination. Somebody who's um, connected with the divine, with the occult is what I'm picking up with the master number 33. You could be a, um, a mason here, a Freemason here. Yeah, and you are a life path number eight. Someone was trying to steal your destiny here, but they failed here because this masculine has found out what this person is about. Can you clarify this card for me, please? Yeah, this masculine has ended the situation with this individual. He has, um, who? He has ended this situation here with this person, 333. Three, three. Three is represented because he was divinely guided to walk away from this fake ass marriage, um, situation that he was in. Yeah, yeah. Th th look at all these threes. 12 breaking down to three. Three. Three, three, three. One, two, three, four, five. There's three different fives out here. This person is about to message you soon. Yeah. This person is about to message you and tell you about that this um relationship, this marriage that he was in, is over with. He's wanting he's wanting to bear the truth and tell you the truth about a situation. Yeah, because he was married. Another three right here. He's coming in because he's been divinely, divinely guided to come in to tell you about a truth about this um, marriage that he was in uh, or about any other relationships that he was in. He's telling you uh, and telling you the truth about everything. He's bringing death towards everyone that's involved in this situation. There could be up to one, two, three, four, four people. It could be seven people that's involved in this situation. I'm getting 11 people try to destroy your situation here, try to destroy a union here. But they did not succeed here. They try to stop this marriage from coming. But you will be give, receiving unexpected income. This situation is dead. Yeah, you could be expecting this. Or, yeah, somebody was juggling here. We're going to get some more clarification. Can you clarify 12? This message card, please. Can you clarify um, the messengers? Yeah, this, this, this feminine right here. Who is this feminine? A situation has ended with this divine feminine. Divine. I don't think it's a divine feminine. Who is this feminine? <clears throat> You're about to receive a message. So there's a message that's about to come to you soon about this feminine energy. There's, there's a lot of messages that's about to come to you. There's like one, two, three. There's four different people that want to tell you a message. Or there's a, this person that wants to tell you about four different individuals and about this main character right here. You're going to receive a message from this situation soon. Yeah. Because this person wants a new beginning with you. He knows that he, he's about to end it with this main female. But he's also going to tell you about these other birds that he's been dealing with too. 
He knows he has to tell you the truth to some, because he don't want you to end this situation. And that's why he's coming to tell you the truth. Damn. But he's ready to end this situation with all these females. Period is what I'm picking up. Can I get some energy to clarify this? Yeah, because he's ready to bring some truth to this situation. The truth will be enlightened to you in the near future or right now. This, this is a timeless read. Let's go ahead and get to the next energy. This is the owl. Somebody was divinely guided to come towards you. We're going down the timeline. 12 breaking down to 3 from rags to riches. You guys are going to be wealthy. you getting new love coming into your life. You guys are meant to have a great fortune here. The truth has been illuminated, but it seemed like this person had to get rid of karmic cycles before you guys can move forward, before you guys can stop, step into this abundance lifestyle here. I feel like that this abundance is um, connected to both of you guys, but you still will be abundant even if you don't choose this person. But I think it would be better if you guys come it together because it was a divinely contract that was written between you and the, uh, between the com com conversation confirmation between you and the um and the creator y'all had a contract a spiritual contract a soul contract that was written for you guys to follow so either you can accept it you can if you don't but if you do it will be more beneficial for you it will bring more enlightenment it will bring more peace it will bring your soul uh journey your destiny because that therefore you will be fully in your north node okay I hope that makes sense. So let's get to the next energy, the owl card. Can you um, clarify the owl card? Somebody could be a, um, a, life seven, a life path number seven. You could have a child that's seven years old. You could have a child that's three years old. Yeah. Someone is not wanting to juggle you anymore. Someone is not. Somebody is ready to pick up the, um, put up their jersey. I'm picking up that Jaheem song. They're ready to retire their jersey. They're ready to give up this player lifestyle. I, I'm getting that song now because this person wants to be a one woman man. Okay. Yeah. You could be expecting something from this person. Maybe these flowers. You already know this person, person is coming back around. But somebody is going through court issues right now. And someone could be going through bad health. But they will be coming out of bad health. Yeah, you guys will be receiving sudden wealth here. And, and um, the old situation is crumbling down. It will be, yeah, this marriage situation is over. Tick tock, tick tock, it's over with. And this person that's in a marriage could be expecting some type of um, uh, uh, new beginning. I don't know. That's what I'm picking up. But can you clarify the, um, the 39? Somebody could be 39 years old. They got tired of juggling here. They see things for what, the, for what, for what it was. They see things from a higher perspective. They realize what these secrets was and they was divinely guided to move past the situation here. Can you clarify the um, dice card for me, please? Yeah, this main woman right here chose to move on with her life. Yeah, she started to love on herself, care for herself, do for herself. I feel like this masculine over here wants a relationship with her. How he's given her a rose and she accepted the rose. So you may be accepting this rose from this masculine and started a new relationship with this person. 28 breaking down to endings and twos represents new beginnings here. And this person knows not to juggle you anymore. Can you clarify the main female? Yeah, London Bridge has fallen down on the situation. The truth has been illuminated. So this situation, somebody could be 38 years old and it, and this your person could be ending out a situation, a demonic situation um, from someone that they was dealing with. Can you clarify main female? Yeah, but this main male is in concern that you may not take his offer back. Yeah, because he was not illuminated. He did not listen to you. He did not take the knowledge that you were trying to give him. But now he's illuminated. Now he knows the truth. Now he knows the way. He had. He ha could have had three ancestors that came to talk to him. Uh, even the Most High could have um, shed, shed some type of light. This person could be a master teacher, 33, a master teacher um, healer here. You could, he could be a life path number six here, but this person is concerned that you may not um, accept this offer back or this uh, take his apology. He's worried here, but he most definitely ended this um, situation with someone with the plants on the table here. And he's been illuminated here with the sun coming through on the um, sun, uh, with the sun coming through through the window. He has been illuminated here. He has grown here. He has matured here. And he's just ready to claim back. He wants to come back and he, 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 wants to, he wants to have this relationship with you. But he doesn't know if you're going to accept him back or not. Yeah, he's been contemplating about this. 
Yeah, because he wants to start a new, uh, he wants to go a new direction with you. Can I get one more card? He wants to go a new direction with you. He wants to start and you could be a Sagittarian who I'm talking to. You could be a Capricorn. He could be a Capricorn. I got Leo energy here. I got Cancer energy in the reverse here. But he was dealing with somebody that's a fucking rat. He's worried that because he know that he was dealing with somebody from the past that you may not approve of. And he's going to court for over this person right now. And he's maybe feeling like he's in despair and can't move. Or this rat energy that he's dealing with feels in despair and um, feel like that they can't move because he's going to court to divorce them is what I'm picking up. Yeah, because he's journeying and he's ending the situation because this karmic energy has bad health. Can you? Yeah, she was using witchcraft over here on you. It hit the community card. So she was trying to stop you guys from coming together. She was trying to stop this twin flame from coming together. You guys are twin flame. You guys came from both the, maybe the both sides of the, um, the track tier. You both had a hard time growing up here. You know what I'm saying? You guys were probably, um, just out, just trying to make it out here. But I feel like this person could have met somebody that put witchcraft on them. This person, he could have went to this person because they had money. To get himself out the rut here. So he could have been disloyal because of, for money is what I'm picking up. And cho chose to go with somebody else because of money residual. Is that true? Can you clarify that for me? Why did he go towards this witch, this person that did witchcraft? Why did he go towards this person that did witchcraft? Yeah, he cut this person off. Why did he cut this person off? This person that did witchcraft. This person that was casting spells. Why did he cut this person off? He see because he see you as stability. He see that you're stable here, and he see that she's false as fuck. He see that you're not false anymore. So he went to another relationship because he thought that was the one for him. He realizing that you are the one for him, and that this was a false person. He see that you're stable. Why did yeah? He feel in prison from the decisions that he made. Yeah, he went towards someone. He started a new relationship with a Taurus Capricorn Virgo energy. That's let me know he went towards someone for money. Uh, Taurus is, represents um, pinnacles, money, abundance. And I just want to see from my deck. Why did he go back? Uh oh. Why did he go? Why did he go to this person with witchcraft? If he yeah, why did he go to this person which uh, that was in witchcraft? Yeah, something could happen on a Wednesday. Yeah, this person watches you secretly. And a Capricorn Virgo um, Taurus has sacrificed you. And he was dealing with somebody that was in a sex shop. So he got with somebody, somebody could have been um, taking care of him and they could have been a prostitute. And however, he thought that he was going to be beneficial with this person. He thought that this person came to save him from this poverty life style. He probably thought that you couldn't help him, but this other person could. But this person was the devil. He signed a contract with the devil is what I'm picking up. Yeah, he signed the contract with the devil and keep your eyes on a prize. He's uh, uh, Devon say, keep your eyes on the prize because this this relationship is supposed to, is meant to be. He's coming back around because he know that this relationship is meant to be, and he he did marry somebody for money. Period. Point blank. Yeah, they yeah. This person did this intentionally to get your person stuck to them. Yeah, this person was doing threesomes to get your person stuck to them. Often the money. This could happen a year ago. This person, this Taurus Capricorn Virgo. This person watches you secretly. This person sells ass. This could have happened a year ago. That this person did something intentionally. This person could have said that you sell, sold ass. This person tried to sacrifice you. This person um, uh, could have been involved in threesomes here. That's some energy. Not everybody energy. So we're going we're gonna to get to the next energy. But this person wants to try to go back towards you. It sounds like a bunch of people had sacrificed you. He got with somebody that was a prostitute um, that was possibly trying to, um, was taking care of him by selling her ass and shit. And he thought that he, he possibly didn't even know that she was a prostitute or how she was getting money. He thought he hit the goddamn um, lotto ticket only to realize that she was a fraud. Pretty much is what I'm picking up. Now he has ended the situation with this home situation. Child. 
What's going on with this family situation? Why did it end? Or what is the new beginning to this home situation? What is going on with this home situation? That this wealthy man is expecting to move into this home. He has the tree of knowledge. He is tapping into the Akashic Records. He is, it sounds like this person may have learned from their mistakes. It seemed like that they even they went the wrong route. They fed into lust and they felt into temptation. They felt in, in trying to find the easy way out of life. And they found out that it caused them a bunch of grief and deception and a bunch of heartbreak because this person ended up being the ultimate betrayal in their life. This person caused the most betrayal, the most deceit, the most pain in their life. And they had to go through a lesson to learn, um, uh, learn their lesson. A hard, a hard head makes a soft ass, period, point blank. Can you clarify this expecting card? Yeah, something could be discussed in a family room here. So I'm picking up 19, breaking down a 10. A situation is ending in, at a home. I got this wealthy man um, could be discussing something with a female that has ended a situation with him. 13, breaking down a four. So he could have a four-year-old here or he could be a life path number four. But I feel like this woman that was expecting, she ended a, a situation here. But this person wants to have a conversation to you. because it's Yeah, and it's being divinely guided to have a conversation in this family room. Uh, Excuse me, confirmation. He's going to tell you about two other females he was dealing with. He's going to tell you about a family he was dealing with. He could have he could have had two other females pregnant here. He's going to tell you the knowledge about what's going on, the information that you don't know. He's been divinely guided to tell you this. This could be in a hotel setting, a beach setting, an outing or some sort. You guys may go to a hotel here. Can you clarify um, a family room? Yeah, he's going to tell you about somebody who was very cold-hearted towards him. That he chose a new path with this person. And he, have, he has ended it with this person. So get ready for a, a message of concern that's coming in. This person does want to tell you about a family situation, about this family, about uh, several people here. Pretty much is the message that I'm getting. So I'm going to get a couple more messages. And then we're going to end this reading out for today. Rags to riches, you guys are going to rag. Yo, you guys are co uh, coming from rags to riches. You went through a whole lot. You you are go are going towards your great fortune. Your great fortune does intertwine being with this masculine, but at the same time, you can still make your own great fortune because of the deceit and all the things that he have have done to you. Necessarily, you don't have to stay in that situation, but yo, you guys did sign a contract. Um. Stating that you guys were uh, here to do a um, divine um, order for uh, the people here. This person is ready to take a mask off. You guys are meant to do something great on, on this planet. You guys are, man, are, are, are here to awaken. Somebody wants to come talk to you. So you could have ended the situation now. You could be this beautiful woman. He see you uh, very elegant here. You could be a Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer energy. He possibly want to move you into a house. Yeah. He wants to have a child with you. He wants to give you gifts. He wants to move in with you. He might have some property somewhere. You guys was in a poverty, poverty um, mindset here. But he, you're about to move into a new house. You're moving from this one house. You're moving from... Ooh. You could be a very seductive, beautiful woman here, and your mask has fallen off now, and you're about to receive. You could be a life path number eight. Yeah, you have ended out an old cycle in your life. You have Your mask has fallen off now. You have nothing to hide, and since you have been real and authentic with yourself, you are about to get uh, receive a gift. You are possibly going to have a child in the near future. Yeah, you are moving from this one house, and you're going to move into this big house with your soulmate. Yeah, you are. Yeah, and the secrets has been um have been discovered about this two party energy here. So we're gonna leave it right there, guys. And I'm just gonna get a couple more messages, and we're gonna end it out on that. From rags to riches, 
your person from the past is coming back to offer you a hand in marriage or some type of long term uh, partnership, or he may just be getting your house, giving you a house. Um, uh, you may be moving from one house to another house. This person wants to have a relationship with you. They want to have a one on one conversation with you. They want to tell you about these endings that they have had with all these different people. Yeah, they're going to tell you about somebody who's being gay for pay. I can't make this up. Maybe he found out that the female that he was dealing with, she was sleeping with other females. And she was getting money from other females. And she was uh, helping him out and, and her, and, his, and when he needed her help. He could have found this out. He possibly, he possibly thought she was um, um, working a, a good job or was, you know, a, respect, a respectable, responsible type of female. She, he didn't think she was selling her butt out here. Is what I'm picking up. Yeah, this person was doing spell work as well. What else she was doing? Or these energies was doing because I'm picking up on a lot of energies. Use discernment. He needs to use discernment. Cross watcher. This is this is this is for my cross watchers. This is what's going on in your masculine or feminine energies. But somebody did try to self sabotage this connection, and I get triggered every time you make a post. A karmic energy. So this uh, this a karmic energy. Uh, this Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo gets triggered every time you make a post, and they tried to self sabotage. No, they self sabotage themselves because this masculine found out what she was up to. Now she wants him to please forgive her. Oh, uh, this and I feel like th that this masculine energy wants you to please forgive him. Confirmation and you crush the karmics here. Something could have happened four hours ago. You could be seeing numbers like four, 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 or four, and you are not the average star. And I'm gonna get a couple more messages and we're gonna end this reading. Yeah, your ex is a fool for setting you up. So, I, my last reading was that it was a divine feminine who was dating brothers, right? But she chose to be with the the lighter the lighter energy uh, masculine is what I'm picking up. And he is saying now the other masculine 444 uh, four, four on the screen when I said that he is saying now holy grail. He is saying now that your ex was a fool for setting you up because he's going to come after you now. Yeah. And y'all going to be traveling soon is what I'm picking up. Yeah. It's time to travel and see the world. Y'all finna travel. I'm going to get two more messages. There we go. There they go. And you could be a celebrity or this person is a celebrity or you will be have celebrity status soon. Yeah. And don't be a fool. Somebody better not be, do not do. They do not need to be a fool and go to back. Go back towards this Taurus Capricorn or uh, Virgo energy. This hustler who I'm talking about. Don't be a fool. That's what I'm picking up. Let me get. I, I got to get one more. I just got to get one more. And something, this hustler could have ended something nine hours ago. What nines represents um, endings and new beginnings. So he did end something. And on that note, I am going to end this situation. And with him ending, you guys will be traveling here. Yeah, you have Asian ancestors you're mixed with here. Yeah, someone was trying to tell this masculine beauty, beautiful lies here. I feel like that you're not in communication with your masculine, so I don't feel like that's you. Somebody could have Indian ancestors here who was, who was trying to tell beautiful lies, or you could have Indian ancestors here. It's time for you to meditate, relax, and chill here. Yeah, you are very conscious here. Stay dedicated to your path here. Stay dedicated to your path here and you will be abundant. You are an abundant person here. Yes. And you pray without ceasing. You always give gratitude to source here. Yeah. You have hidden knowledge here. You will tap into the Akashic Records here. And I slept with your masculine because I wanted to make you jealous. So someone you know slept with the masculine to make you jealous. But that shit didn't work. They make themselves look like a fool. They could have did this on a Tuesday. Oh, mm hmm and I don't, I don't love myself. The karmic doesn't love themselves, so they do low vibrational things to keep. Uh, yeah, they were sleeping with your masculine. Could have been a man whore, or there is a man whore that's in this um situation, and you got that wet ass wop here. So there's a man whore, and there's somebody who got that uh, wet ass wop here. Yeah, this this man whore. No, you got that wet ass wop here. Uh, yeah. I only wanted the masculine for his money, but I fell in love with him. Now he wants you. So somebody fall, fell in love with the masculine. Um, uh, only uh, what I want to say, they fell in love with the money. With the they they only wanted the masculine for his money, but they fell in love with him. So I felt like when they when the masculine started paying more attention to you, when they started coming more closer to you, this person called themselves trying to get more involved with the masculine. And when they got more involved, the masculine found out what they was really about, and the masculine pulled away. So the masculine don't want anything to do with these people anymore. Ooh, child. 
Yeah, this is a karmic community. He he has nothing. He's pulling back from this karmic community right here. You deserve accolades um, for all the hard work that you have put in and that you have dealt with dealing with this karmic ass, negative ass energy energies. You had a, a whole community coming against you. Yeah, you worked on your self love here. Yeah, but you had a doppelganger, someone who was trying to copy your energy, somebody who's talking nasty and foul about you in the past. Yeah, yeah, but who gives a fuck? Because their opinions doesn't matter. You're going to be traveling soon. And stay strong and stay ambitious and stay sucker free. So these are my messages for you guys. You're going from rags to riches. They tried to stop you, but that can't nobody stop you. As my girl, Maji the Priestess say, God hire us. Who's going to fire us? <laughs> so I like to give a shout out to Maji Priest for that slogan. She is the best. I love her reading. She is the... Uh, I swear, like, <laughs> um, one of the um, most tapped in, or what I want to say, um, divinely guided readers I have came across on YouTube. Her messages hit me, and I um, correlate with her messages, resonate with her messages very so well. So I have to give love to when love's doing. That's my Gina Priestess. Again, guys, 44, 45, 55 on the screen. When I said that, get ready for change for a life path number eight. I feel like I'm talking to somebody who's a life path number eight here. Someone who went through a hard time in life. Someone that you've been um, uh, mislooked over, stepped over, uh, treated like trash. People didn't really care if you was coming or going, stepping over you. And they, they see that you didn't, they, they felt like that you didn't have a purpose or a voice. And now that you are stepping into a beautiful new being, a, a beautiful energy, and you're going to be abundant with your soulmate, regardless what people think, say, or how they perceive you. So with that being said, guys, those are the messages I have for you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.